Hey guys, I'm here with our horses um, and I would like to introduce you to someone new. I know you haven't really met Buglugs, but this is Buglugs. He's deciding that he doesn't want to be on camera right now. Ha, ha, there he is, there he is, okay. He's not actually the new guy. Um, <laughs> uh, let me just turn this. Hold on. This is Jupiter over here. <laughs> He's a very sweet boy, but uh, he does have some uh, some things to work through because he was uh, quite badly handled by people in the past. So he's got a bit of scarring. He's got some what looks like old saddle scars up here and what looks like um, spur scars, which spurs are basically those little metal things that you put on the back of your riding boot. Uh, it's supposed to be a very, very t uh, soft touch when used, but um, obviously, like anything, it can be abused. So the thing with horses is you can never really know what their what their history is if you weren't there. So in taking in any new horse, especially a horse with with um, that you know has had some kind of issue, has had some mishandling, abuse, stuff like that. You never really know what you're getting in terms of their behavior and when they might snap and when, what are their triggers and things like that. And um, <laughs> that's uh, part of what I'm going to be finding out over the next few months with this new boy uh, to help him deal with the those triggers, to help him um, realize that not everyone is a bastard and that he can treat me with the same respect that I give to him. So at the moment he doesn't have too much consideration for people because people haven't had much consideration towards him. So that's one of the things that's through a um, different approach to training to what he's used to. I can help him to essentially forgive the past, to let go, to develop uh, a new relationship with people, a new relationship to training, a new relationship to being handled. Um, and eventually, uh, he may never forget his past, but eventually we'll be able to hopefully help him work through the bulk of whatever memories um, uh, influence his behavior at the moment. So generally he's a very sweet boy. He's very friendly. Um, he'll come up to me in the field and say hi. And uh, it's from through the grapevine, it sounds like most of his issues were in being ridden because he was ridden very hard. Um, he was uh, mishandled so I'm expecting once I actually start doing things with him then the truth of of his whatever behavioral issues he has is going to start coming out at the moment at the moment I'm giving him a few weeks to just do nothing to just uh, make friends with his new herd settle into his new environment but um, what I would like to do hopefully uh, things work out in such a way that I have the space and opportunity to do this. But what I'd like to do is regularly be able to give updates on his progress and uh, share a little bit about what I've been doing with him. So that's my plan. We'll see what happens. There's been a lot of stuff coming up over the last few months that have forced me to de delay a lot of things that I want to do. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. And uh, you are going to see me and Jupiter around. Yeah. Hi. 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 Hi, sweet boy. <laughs>